Okay. There we go. Okay, so we do a full on restorative reset today. Uh, just an opportunity to tap into the nervous system, let's say that, and and uh, and help ourselves like relax, feel into what's happening, do that deep work. And a restorative is deep work. Nothing to do, but just lie there and do that deep inner work. And that is so potent and powerful. So here we go. Okay. Um, I have my tea here, and I think I'm going to start with a little water blessing. If you don't have one, that's a okay. And you can just create a container for yourself. And, and then we'll just begin by settling into the breath. And as you offer yourself this space to practice and to rest and to breathe and to be, to feel, to acknowledge, to release, to invite in, we begin by just taking in the, taking it in with a little drink or even just a sip of air, bringing that in. feeling for a moment as you invite the outside in and right before we own just take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly space just connecting to the beating of your heart and to the Creativity and flow of your belly space here, pelvic floor, all of that. And bringing these two energies together as you bring your hands together in front of your heart. Lengthen and bow your chin. And on the inhale, grow nice and tall from the base all the way to the crown of your head. Release this breath completely. <laughs> we will welcome ourselves to practice and chant or be together three times. Inhale. Oh. Bow your chin, release your hands to your thighs, lift your chin and open your eyes. Okay, feel free to stretch your legs out, move around a little bit. Um, just move your feet if you like. And then we're gonna set this up so sweet. So I'm gonna start by <laughs> taking a blanket, any blanket, it could be anything. And we're just gonna lay it over your space. So we have like a nice, like wide, comfortable mat. And that way we'll also use the outer edges of that blanket to kind of toss in if we need a little bit more support. So nice. Yeah, just look like that, like big, open it up and maybe I'll go the other way. Green blankets. Okay. And once you have that set, make it all nice. Just if you have, I don't know, nice. I was gonna say if you have carpet, you might not want me to do that, but we're gonna do it. Okay. So once that's open, we're going to set up for our first pose here. Okay. It's gonna take. We're gonna use at least two more blankets. And a bolster, obviously, <sighs> bolster, and one block. I'm just going to put the block on its lowest height, and it's just going to prop up the bolster, just like that. Okay. And then take a white blanket so you can see it. Okay, so this is going to be your torso-shaped 
or torso size blanket. So just like that. And I'm gonna put the uh, folded side here. Okay, I'm gonna move this into position. So don't worry too much about where it is, just here. And then you'll take another blanket. And this one, we're going to, so it's torso shape, I'm gonna fold it in half. And this is gonna be for your, your low back area is gonna sit on this blanket. So you will adjust them all once you get in. Okay, then you might want another blanket for your head. And that I'll just kind of put here, just, and then we'll bring everything in. Yes, okay. Good. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm just gonna roll my ankles a little bit, move the legs a little bit. You take your time. You do need to do a little something here. That's all good. Your feet a little rub. Okay, and then here's the setup. So I'm gonna end up so that my legs are supported here on the bolster and then the heels are just like hanging off the floor and I'm right at the wall here. If the feet touch the wall, it's fine. And then once you're here, then you'll take this blanket, the one, the bottom one, and just kind of snuggle it up against your, you're not sitting on it, just comes right up against you. Okay, you, you know, you know, you know, okay. And then I'll lie back. And this one that I have here, I might even just pull it in so that it sits right at the sacrum. Let me just see. And then you'll come down and be like, oh, that's fabulous. Or you might need to come up and readjust yourself. And that's good, good yogi work too. Okay, and then the one underneath your head, fold it, create it. Wowzers. This is lovely. Oh, eye pillow. And another blanket to cover yourself. You might, I don't know if your temperature is, make it nice for yourself and cover yourself here. I'm not gonna cover myself, but go ahead. And an eye pillow, I mentioned the other day, if you have one, just kind of rest it on your forehead and then just gently draw it over the eyelid so it's not right on your eyes. Okay, then I'm gonna just give you one more thing, because it's our first pose. So if your back is like, ugh, not happy, then just bend your knees, put your feet on the bolster, or put your feet, maybe heels on the floor, toes on the bolster. Maybe you want a windshield wiper a little bit if you need to kind of move open. So you gift yourself permission once you're in the pose, how can I, what do I need to do so I can ah, be here so nicely? Okay, this blanket I put under the sacrum, if it's too much of a pelvic tilt, then just move it down a little bit so it's underneath, you know, so your tail will lift a little bit. Just be, uh, be, be, be free with where you put these props so that you are very comfortable here. Because we're gonna stay here for a little bit of time. Okay, now you have these, if you put a blanket down and you take your arms out, and hopefully the backs of your hands are on the blanket. And feel free to like really create a little bit more lift for the backs of your hands. You just kind of fold the blanket or roll it. And just really support the back of your of your hands. So it's very comfortable. Okay, your shoulders are tucked in, so a little bit down and in towards each other, just so you feel the heart supported so you can relax. thing I'm going to do is just do that little bit of head work we've been doing. So just pick the head up and lengthen it both sides. Draw the chin in and set it back down. Starting to settle into your breath, whatever that means. You know, if you need to elongate the breath a little bit, or you're ready to just let it go. Do all of that. Just 
just in the place you're clenching in the jaw. Notice the activity of your eyes. Can you allow them to relax? Looks like you feel your eyelids almost spread out to your temple space. Becoming aware of yourself resting on the props, on the floor, on the earth. Even feeling in your mind's eye, your imagination, that the floor is rising up to meet you, to support you. As you are, friends, you're going to just invite in <clears throat> some breath work or breath play. And so as you begin your next inhalation, <coughs> I may just count. Maybe it's four or five, three. And then let your exhale be longer than that count. Be in that space of a longer exhalation. And a slow inhale to fill you up. Staying with that breath, and maybe you lose the count and you're just in this inhale to fill you with a nice slow release of your exhale. Let's just do one more round. And to finish, you'll take an inhale and at this time. Let the exhale be a sigh out your mouth. <sighs> and belt in a little deeper. The eyes and the jaw. Throat. To your heart space. solar plexus just above the navel your water center just below the navel and all the way to the root of you at the base of your pelvic floor base of your spine out through the legs soles of the feet Staying in this, I'm just going to elongate the breath and take the arms overhead. Just allow things to open. You can have your elbows bent if you like, one hand resting in the open palm of the other, stretching straight out when it feels right. And you don't have to count this time, but feel like the breath is being drawn up, maybe from the soles of your feet all the way. Expanding the heart space into the shoulders of the root of your body. Maybe into your throat. Just be very conscious of the breath filling you up and releasing through you.
And if you have your hands in any way that you could switch sides, do that. Just take three more full, nice big inhales, feeling that breath open you up on the inside. And complete exhale out through the soles of your feet. Staying as you are, I'm just going to begin to move the feet. So if your legs aren't stretched straight, you either straighten them or find another way to do it. Just moving your feet, rolling your ankles, wiggling your toes, keep your jaw soft. This is really good work. Maybe the toes move in towards each other and out, just opening up the hips. If you want to add the wrists, the fingers, why not? And maybe take a nice big stretch. And as you breathe out, we'll take the arms back down. Any place that feels nice, rest your feet on the floor, soles of the feet on the floor. And I feel a little windshield wiper in this position it might be very helpful. So. Just do that a few times. Very much aware of everything that's happening. We have these supports underneath us. You can feel the body moving. Okay. Good. And then just coming back to soles of the feet on the floor. That little blanket we put underneath the mid back. If it we're going to pull it down so now it's underneath the sacrum so that you feel like your hips are lifted just a little bit. Adjust whatever else you need to. Good. Okay, I feel another windshield wiper just a little bit side to side. Release the back, side to the waist. Good. Okay. We're going to place the soles of the feet on this bolster. Where do you need to look? Good. Soles of the feet on the bolster. You're going to bring the left knee into the chest. You see that this is it. I'm just going to hold it here. You want to stretch your right leg out, you know, on top of the bolster like we had it before. You can do that. Or keep it bent. And let your feet relax. And we're just going to hang out here in this one knee in. Find your breath. And again, find a longer exhale. You might find where you're very open or opening. Your hands can come down about mid shin. Full inhale. Doesn't need to be that long. Not slow, long exhale. Inviting your hips to relax, your belly to relax, your thighs, your jaw. And I'll say it again, your feet, if they want to. That right leg is extended and the right foot wants to drop out a little bit. Let all of that happen. Another three, four more breaths. You move into your final breath, even just feeling the floor coming up to support you as you really let go. And then we'll come to just be in the repose. So feet on the floor, on the bolster, legs stretched out, whatever it is, and just pause. Okay, before we do the second side, I'm just going to move the feet, maybe toes in and out or 
roll them, their fur feels good, and they add the hands and the wrist. <clears throat> then they will bring the right knee in. So and it helps to bend the left leg first, put the left foot on the bolster, opposite interlace of your fingers. Take a few moments to settle. And then do whatever you like with your left leg. Whatever helps you to you know, treat this like a restorative posture. Any discomfort that you're discovering, if you need to move around a little bit in the pose, maybe you can also just invite the breath and the awareness there. this too like if you experience hip discomfort or pain and maybe notice what your shoulder is doing is it tense your head tilted a little bit to that side you can relieve a little bit when you turn your head just gently away from that side something that may have been helpful on the other side for you here it is and coming back to that very long, relaxing exhale. to our final three, four breaths here. Really surrender what you can to the floor, to the earth, to your heaviness, to your lightness. And then releasing and coming into your rest. And just feeling that. Okay, so let's take this extra blanket that we have under the sacrum. So bend your knees, put your feet on the floor, lift your hips, and just slide it out or down or anywhere so that now you're just on that torso blanket. And we'll come back to your windshield wiper. Release. If you have an eye pillow on, I'm going to come up to sitting. So you could take the eye pillow off or you just hold it as you roll to one side and take your time. Maybe you cut yourself up and just let it be. And we're just going to sit for a moment. You might even take that blanket that we just pulled out from under the sacrum and just sit on it. Or you could sit in front of the bolster, whatever you like. And just take a moment. Okay, so we've opened the breath. Um, last class, we did a little bit of B breath. So we're just going to move into that again. So you'll take your index finger and your um, middle finger and you just lay them over your eyes. And it's not, it's almost like the middle finger goes into the corners of the eyes and then lays over the eyelids. Um, and then you can just kind of play with that. You don't have to press or anything. Then the thumbs just close the ear flap. And um, you know, you can try it two ways. Last time we did buzz. You could also mm, just to create that noise for yourself. So you're gonna do three rounds and then just let your hands rest. So as you're ready, inhale. Buzz. Thank you. 
And just move into your next pose as you're ready. I'm going to keep the props pretty much as they are. Okay, beautiful. If you're just coming out, take a moment and bask in that. All right, so this time I'm going to take that little flap of a blanket that we were using and it's going to go where your tummy is. So, this is the see of that. Okay, so I'm going to put it up a little higher and again, you know, we'll just adjust it as we get there. Okay, so this time I'm going to lie on my tummy, and the feet are going to rest on the, if you need something else for your knees, we're going to put it there. Okay, so the tops of the feet are going to rest on this bolster, and then you'll come down, and hopefully this other blanket will just be supporting your tummy. You can always fold it if you want more, and then the head is going to rest, and you have this blanket here. Oh, you know what, friend? I've been doing this face massage with a block every time I come down. So it feels really nice. So if that's something, I'm just going to turn the camera. You want to give yourself a little forehead massage. Then you'll just bring the block in so that rest your, maybe the space right at the center of the forehead or just above the eyebrows. The tender spots are between the eyebrows and above that line. You can put the block there if you like that. And then you might just turn your head, massage with the block. And you just kind of, you know, play around a little bit. And if you love that, then that's yours. And if it's not, then that's not yours. And you can just let it go. And Doing that massage with the block and it's uncomfortable and painful, and then you're probably working something, some stress out that you carry there. With the block or without, rest deeply, like really let the back body drop into the front body, to the floor. Change the leg position just so slightly into like a buttocknasana, maybe so the knees can walk out and the feet don't have to touch each other, but they might. They don't have to. You find that place where you can just let the knees widen. And if you can go deeper, then you can even take the feet off the bolster, take the knees to the floor so that you're almost like in this. Um, it's called goddess pose, and you're standing on your feet. It's a way to open, to find what feels good, just to take the knees a little wider apart. And this is the pose. So now we're here. And maybe the work is in the letting go and the dropping and the releasing. So I'm just taking the block out. I just rest my head on my hands here.
agitated you are, just so you know what I've done is I've taken that blanket that my head was on and just created like a little pillow for the forehead. And it just grips the arms overhead, not active, just passive. Again, just bringing yourself back to this idea of the back body dropping to the front body dropping to the floor. Relax and let go. You might notice that you can start to shift. Maybe your head can elongate a little bit or feel drop a little more. Just noticing what happens. Inviting yourself to be as heavy as what you can with your arms, head, back of your heart. your belly straight, resting into that, a little bit of support we can put it. Drop in a little deeper, anywhere you can. And once you've taken your legs really wide, start to bring them back together, find the bolster again. And we'll just bring your, everybody, tops of the feet to the bolster. The legs are symmetrical and straight-ish, knees are joints. And we'll stay in this place and just push into the bolster with the tops of the feet so your legs come up off the floor. But let everything else be like nothing's changed. So just push the tops of the feet in. Your toes might be flexed a little bit. Maybe you want to find a little hip lock here. Extend one leg and the other. A little reset. Okay. And drop in. Let everything go. The legs relax. Okay, so we are going to bring ourselves back up. Just sitting. And if you need to do it slowly, maybe you want to take a sphinx first because we're here. And then bending your knees a little windshield wiper on your tummy here or a little egg beater if it feels good just to move everything from back to back. I'm just going to use the put my feet back on the bolster and just push up and back. Get come off and Sit for a moment. So I'm going to sit on my heels. You sit however you like and just pause here for a few minutes. 
And then we'll just take a little bit of alternate nostril breathing. So with that, you know, knowing you're going to sit for a bit, make it comfortable. And then you'll take your dominant hand and the thumb goes over the opening of the right nostril and you take your ring finger and your pinky and over the left and the other two fingers can either rest on the third eye or tuck in. I'm going to take the non-dominant hand and just turn the palm up. Good. And then just breathing without doing anything for a few moments. And then we'll begin. So you'll inhale. We'll seal the right nostril, breathe out through the left. And then you'll inhale left. And switch. So for every exhale, you switch. So continue on on your own. Do one or two more rounds, and you'll end off breathing out through the, the left nostril. And then just release your hands, and it was not a lot of time, but feel the effects of that. Okay. So our next pose is going to be uh, Setu Banda. And so I'll take the, that is just a little fancy one for a little bridge. So I'm going to take the bolster. Um, you might move this, actually, okay, let's just do this right, Joe. I'm going to take this blanket I use for the head, take it out. And this torso one is just going to move up. So it'll support the head and the shoulders. And then the bolster will be where you're going to rest your low back and your tush maybe the thighs, and then we'll take the two blocks. Oops. For your feet. So they can go higher height too. And I, I like to put a blanket over top of them just to make it a little bit nicer. Okay, now I have this third blanket. Yes, babies, I see you. Okay, I'm gonna take this third blanket and I'm gonna open it up this and I'm going to use that to wrap around the legs so oh my goodness what's that wrong? wrong energies I'm just going to lay it on top here and just put this out even though they're both the same color okay so much props and then okay we come to sit on the bolster you might have to change where you have your bolster but that's cool and then once you're here, you're gonna lie down so that your back of your heart, your shoulders, your head are on the floor. I'm gonna stretch the legs out. Now I'm gonna wrap the legs. I'm gonna say this before I start though. If this leg straight out is too much for you, just bend your knees, it's fine. I'm gonna just wrap this around. I can't believe I hit it right with the bolster that never happens. And that way I don't have to, I can even, Open the legs apart a little bit, maybe turn the heels out a little bit. Those can point up and, you know, if it's too much for your back here, you just wiggle yourself forward or pull the bolster down. Just create a little discomfort, you know, maybe the bolster at the bottom ribs. And as the body relaxes into this, it gives your inversion. Okay, I'm gonna stretch the arms out. I'm gonna take the sides of this blanket I have on the floor and just create little Pillows for the hands in some way, the backs of the hands. Walk your shoulders away from your ears, press the upper arms into the floor so the heart lifts a little bit and then sink it down. And reset your head and drop in. So sometimes a little discomfort, you know, it is. We've changed gravity quite a bit, and the back is also taking a different shape. So drop in, let yourself 
experience whatever's coming up in those few moments of fear. You have your back pillow handy. <clears throat> Maybe a sock or anything. I'm going to rest here for a little bit. So, again, take the opportunity if you need to move or wiggle or readjust so that you can be happy. Just coming back. The almighty breath. So feeling all that connection of the body resting on props, resting on floor, resting on earth. jaw, the eyes, the throat, feel very relaxed and dropping these places you allow them to open. Releasing yourself more deeply to the place you're still holding.
into your final few moments here, just letting yourself drop in pretty deeply. We'll very slowly make our way out so if you wrapped your legs and bend your knees. You might be able to just lift your hips and Slide the bolster down. Okay. Bring ourselves back onto the back now. There's nothing there. You might even be able to move your bolster so that length lies below you. And then just take a few moments to rest with the back down. Bring both knees into the chest here, so that feels like it's okay for you. And we'll just rock the knees in and out a little bit. You maybe make some circles with your knees. So your hands can hold the knees, you can do bigger circles. You can release that. Just nice and slow. Let it be a little massage for the low back. It's so good. We haven't changed direction yet. Do that. Just kind of hug these knees in. Let everything just receive it. Same idea of this heaviness. And your knees can come apart. And you find whatever feels better to hold behind the thighs or the shins or the knees. You can just invite in this heaviness in the back. And we move this heaviness up so it goes more in the mid back. And I do that just by lifting the feet up off the back. Like, I mean, you're, like you're sitting in a chair, but your thighs are maybe at your belly. And then you can hold on to the backs of your thighs or calves. You can straighten your legs a little more if you like. So the tail lifts up a bit. And then you can just be really heavy in the mid back. With every exhale, just inviting your back body to sink a little deeper. Even get a little more spacious. Feel it spread. More breath, whatever shape you're in. And then we'll release, set the feet on the floor on your bolster. You just come back to a windshield wiper, a way of moving. Okay, so our next pose is going to be Shavasana. So I'm just going to roll to the side and come up just to readjust. Take the, let's see, this is the blanket I used to wrap with. Take it off. Okay, so I have this blanket on the feet, and I'm going to just take it and just roll it so it's a little bit, just one more. And I'll take the bolster, just like we had the setup at the beginning. So now I just have two blocks there, and I've just tilted it. And then I'm going to put this folded blanket kind of on top of the blocks. So that maybe when you come down, you know, your feet might rest there. It, it, you might not even feel it, but it, it's there. Okay. And then I'm going to take this blanket back exactly the way we started. Okay. The main difference is going to be in the head support. So I'm going to fold this blanket. So it's also a torso shape. And then come out, go on top. All right, so then when we come down, here's the head. Oh, 
before she has to wait until the oh, she's like, bye. Bye. Oh. And I'm heartbroken again. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, all right, so I'm going to take my hands to the sides of this blanket here, and I'm just going to roll it. Oh, no. I'm going to start at the top. I'm just going to roll it in. And then create this like support tops of the shoulders, back of the head, and then you can take the top and just roll it underneath. It's not fancy, but your head is a little bit lifted and supported. <clears throat> okay, and then with the legs out, if that's too much, and you can always find a different position for your feet. Okay, this time I'm going to take these blankets I have here, just. A little more on top, like a little cocoon. Give me an eye pillow. Okay, so as we drop in, if you'd like to, you know, move your feet or stretch your arms over your head and hip lock a little bit, just as if you're snuggling in. When you go to sleep, and you're going to snuggle in. And this time, I'm going to rest my hands on my my body. Get me started with one hand. You know, we started just holding ourselves, so that feels nice. Go ahead. <coughs> and then, oh. Shavasana. Silently celebrating this moment of peace and quiet. And if you find yourself lost in your thoughts, that's, that's okay. Just gently guide it back to this body and this land. send it anything you at this moment. Anyone who needs anything from you at this moment. Relax.
aware of your breath as it is. You choose to remain here as we embrace and ready to come out feeling the small movements. You take a luxurious wake up. Newborn baby. Young, young child when you start to wake up. Stretch. You take your time. Asking in your stillness and oh, the, your resilience, your strength, feeling your softness. Just take one hand to heart, one hand to your belly to space, and lengthen, bow your chin, honoring the the universe within you. And then bringing your hands together, keeping them where they are. We'll seal this practice with one ohm. So inhale to lengthen and release this breath completely. And inhale. Whoa. Breathe into your hands, bow your chin, lift your chin and offer this breath to yourself. Everything you need is there. Everything you need. So, great love and honoring and restorative yogis. <laughs> May this practice filter through the rest of your day. Namaste. So much love and honoring. We'll see you guys hopefully Sunday. Take care, everyone.